So I was playing with the uh, PDF export this this morning, and uh, I also showed you how to how to add your own custom title, header, footer. So let us continue with uh, these uh, customizations. And uh, one thing that I wanted to do was uh, doing some uh, advanced uh, PDF customization when you export your page to a PDF by inserting my own uh, style sheet. And to be honest, I have no idea how it works uh, on the cloud version of uh, Confluence. So if I look, if I look at my Confluence uh, instance, and if I go to my G, not Jira, but Confluence administration, on the left hand side there is an option where you can uh, where you can do something with the PDF style sheet. So I believe this PDF style sheet will be applicable for uh, the whole uh, instance of. Uh, uh, of for, for the whole instance, of course, because it says global PDF style sheet. But I was not really sure previously what to do here. Like I know style sheet, I know how CSS work, but I need to know the classes and uh, IDs that I can use here. But there is of course a page on the uh, on the Atlassian documentation. And if you look here, it says for custom headers, define any of the following rules within your page top left, top center, top right. Similarly for footer, we have bottom left, bottom center, bottom right. Okay, so let us see, let us see if we can do something. What I will do is I will probably copy this and uh, I will paste it here. And what I'll do, I'll also try to, because I don't really want, okay, let us not do the, let us not worry about the font. Let us do something like, uh, background so i want some background maybe maybe let's use red why not and i don't really want the font to be different i just want uh, a nice background because i want to see how it works so we have top center and uh, the we also have uh, bottom center maybe we want to okay not tab is not working but anyways so maybe maybe blue and uh, okay so we have top center and what else do we have top center top left top right okay let us use all of them so top left And uh, okay, it's a bit difficult to manage the indentation here, but it's okay. Yellow, okay, in double quotes, I guess. And uh, content, maybe, why not? Ah, I, I keep on pressing tab. It, it is not a code editor. Top left, okay. Top center, top left, top center, top right. Let, us, let me just copy this, it will be quicker. Top right. Uh, maybe maybe green okay I think this is enough for the timing let us save it and see so what we'll do we'll uh, export the export one space and we'll see this in working hopefully it will, I, I don't know uh, if it, it if it will work or not but let us find out we'll, we'll find out I'm just trying to follow the documentation so if you go to the space setting and by the way when you modify the global settings i think it will only work when you are performing uh, a complete space export i guess it will not work uh, for individual pages i think for that you need to do the same thing if you go to the content tools you also have the, the similar options for uh, adding the options uh, for the pdf layout 
by going to the space settings. So if you go to the page lay PDF layout here, it will also have few things here that you can, I believe, uh, modify. So we also have the because what, whatever we did globally is also applicable here. But you can, I guess, you can also override and have your own custom. So let let, let us go to the. Uh, let me do one thing. Let it, let me just add something here, like a bit additional. So let us also add a bottom. bottom left and uh, bottom left <coughs> save okay and uh, for exporting you need to go to the content tool content tools and then you need to go to the export and then perform the export, the complete export of your space. Next, I'm curious to see how it will work, how, how it will look like. Normal export, yeah, I think uh, normal export is fine. Export, I don't really want no numbers, page numbers. We'll wait for it to finish. We just have like 13 pages. Download PDF. Okay, I'll probably save it to my temp folder and uh, I will open it. Will it work? Uh, I think it did something. But the background didn't work. Maybe I did some maybe maybe I did like a mistake. Okay, top center is fine. We have top center. Okay. But uh, we don't have really have anything else. Like we just have top center, nothing else. There is no footer. Okay, let us modify the PDF. Um, not the PDF, but the CSS. So I'll go back and uh, let us go to the look and feel again. I'm actually determined to make it work. Um, I, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what all I can do out of the box natively without using any app. So PDF style sheet. And the only thing that was there in the PDF was the top thing, top center. So let us see. Let us see if the style sheet is correct or not. Okay, so we have, so within page, we have top left. Okay, so I think there is one semicolon missing here. Is it causing us? Maybe, maybe this is the problem. Let us let us see. For CSS, I think background is it background or just background color? Anyways, let us save and try again. That is how you do things. Try it and uh, improve it. Okay, export. I. I'm more into. I think it did something huh, because we can definitely see that uh, header. Something that says uh, top center. I, I'm just. I'm just curious to see whether it will have all the colors as well. Whether I, I, I need to verify if the PDF is uh, is taking the is considering the style sheet or the style that we added. Okay, so I think we made some progress. So it says top center. Okay, good, good news. Top center, top right. That is fine. Okay, top left, top center, top right. Okay, this looks good. Page two, top left, top center, top right. I'll probably remove the font. There is no, there is no bot or like footer. Let us make it work. I'm sure there is something wrong with the, with the style sheet. I've been doing uh, web designing for a while and I, 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 it's a bit of a shame for me that I can't get it working in one go. But I think we are close. So PDF style sheet, modify. So there was no footer. Hmm. Okay. Bottom left was missing. Okay, top center. Am I using the right? Okay, bottom center. 
maybe I'll uh, remove the font. Let us keep it okay. So I think there are some uh, there are some. So it says counter page. Was there any counter? I I, I forgot actually. <clears throat> okay. So bottom was not there at all. But do we have bottom left? Bottom left. Okay. Color was not working. Hmm. Maybe not all the. Uh, I'm not really sure if it will if it is supposed to work or not. Anyways, <clears throat> let me just do a search. CSS background color. I th was it background or just or maybe background color? I think it was background color. Okay, I think it was definitely background color. So I'll go to the style sheet again and uh, I will use background color okay it certainly did something but uh, not all the not all the things are working but I, I think it is working I'm just trying to uh, I'm, I'm just being uh, <clears throat> rigid about it so let us go to the pdf uh, oh sorry content content tools again one more time and try to export i'll of course uh, do a bit of i'll do some research and i'll try to figure out maybe not all the tags are supported here or maybe i need to i need to read the documentation a bit more but but i'm quite close <coughs> Okay, PDF export in progress. Download PDF. Okay, this is probably the last time I'm doing it. Okay, all right. Open it. Okay, so it says top left, top center, top right, and we have page two, top center. So there is no, there is no bottom. Anyways, I think I'll probably figure it out and. Uh, I will update you guys. I'll, I think I need to uh, check this page properly. There, there are some all. all I mean, there is an option here that says uh, you can also insert the image. So maybe I, I think it will be good if I can have my logo with a brown background. My 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 brown background, which is three three zero 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 hexadecimal code for my brown. But uh, I'll see. I'll try to uh, try to make it work and I will definitely post you guys with the update so if, if you are so if you are looking at this video if you're watching this video what I'm doing is I'm trying to improve my my knowledge base and uh, because it has been a while since I last worked I mean I think I, I don't really remember when I did something wonderful with confluence so I'm basically trying to my objective is to change the look and feel without using any app and uh, so far I am of course uh, uh, doing things that I can do with the configurations but this advanced PDF option is uh, definitely interesting I am um, not really sure about the use case what I will do with the PDF export but of course the purpose is here, the purpose here is to learn and uh, and uh, because people use uh, Confluence along with Jira and uh, they may want to export things out of Confluence to a PDF file and they may want to send it to someone so I, I think uh, if you are trying to do something similar then hopefully this will help you and that is all I wanted to talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much <clears throat>